I tried searching on Google for the cheapest place to buy a .com domain and honestly, I was shocked. Google is recommending some of the worst companies out there. From my years of buying domains, I know that those companies are just going to go and rip you off. And I actually know who is making money of those shady recommendations. That is why I decided to review all the major domain registrars by myself. I've put together the data and their pricing in Excel, so it is easier for both you and me to compare them. I will split them into three different categories. First, the providers you should never even consider. Second, the ones that are just not worth your time. And finally, my top three recommendation. Each one is best for completely different use case. This video took me a lot of time and also a lot of money to make. So if you just go and skip over this, you may very likely go and overpay a lot of money for your domain. And in worst case scenario, be stuck with a domain registrar that will not even work. So let's get into it. One big thing I noticed when searching for domains is that a lot of web hosting providers are bidding for those keywords on Google. But you should never go with a web hosting company. You want to have your web hosting and domain name separate. If you look at example of SiteGround, we can see how much they are charging for their .com domain. It is completely ridiculous and it's nearly five times more than the industry standard. So that is why you should never go with them. They're just trying to make money off of you. That's why I will not recommend you to go and buy your domain with web hosting provider directly in there. If you would need to have one recommendation, you really want to have it together, the hostinger has the best value in terms of price. But even with that, I would not recommend you to do it. And if you ever thought, why are people going and recommending the web hosting providers or even the not very good domain registrars that are too expensive? Well, because they can make more money. Creators like me, we use affiliate links and it works that we're going to go and get a certain percentage of the sale amount that we refer them to. So if you go and use the links in the description, we will go and get commission. And just think about it. The higher sell amount is going to be, the more money us creators can make. So that's why a lot of people will go and start recommending those overpriced solutions because we can make more amount of money from this. This is important to know for you because a lot of online reviews are not mentioning this and they're recommending you the more expensive solutions that are not worth your time at all. Okay, if you appreciate this honesty, I would also appreciate if you use my links in the description. I will not earn as much money, but this will help keep this channel alive. Let's go into the companies that I would never recommend you to use or even consider. First one is definitely GoDaddy. This is surprisingly the biggest domain registrar in the whole world and by a long shot. They are definitely not worth it. They will go and show you a lot of upsells and the sell time period for their domains is only for the three year term. They are spending so much money on their ads that they need to make it somewhere else and that's why they are so overpriced. It is not worth it. Even the interface is not very intuitive and it's not easy to connect to your actual web hosting. I wouldn't go with this. They are overpriced on by big corporations and they are not worth it. They are a much better choice than that. And if you ever look at online reviews from real people, they are not affiliated with them. You can see that they have horrible, horrible reviews and their customer support, they just outsource it to a different country and it's really, really bad. Next on our list of never use is domain.com and this is by far, in my eyes, the worst case I have ever seen. It is ridiculous. They are going to charge you $12 for the first year price. And they're one of very few companies that are still charging you also for the who is privacy, which basically goes and hides all of your personal information online so people cannot go and see it. This is something that basically every other web hosting provider, from my research, they have it for free included but they are still charging money for it. This is absolute no-go zone. And I was really trying, but I couldn't see the renewal prices for .com domains on their website. 
But when I actually tried even harder searching it online, I found some links where I can find it and I was horrified. It is really, really as high. No wonder they are trying to hide it. It's $26 and it's definitely not worth it. They are owned by EIG, which got rebranded to Newfold Digital. Long story short, they are a very shady company. Yeah, so in my eyes, they are hiding the renewal pricing, which is not good. They are charging for who is privacy, which is not good. They have very outdated look and it's overall absolutely not worth it. Yes, people will go and still recommend those because you can go and earn a lot more money for something so overpriced. Next, we have Squarespace domains. This might be a bit surprised because they are the company that bought Google domains and are supposed to go and be running it. Their whole thing is that it's very minimalistic and it's very clear. The first year price is $14 and the renewal price is $20. In my eyes, it is not worth it. I don't like the look of it. It's not that intuitive. It's very minimalistic and it doesn't give you any additional value. It's just overpriced and I don't see reason or any use case why people should go with it. So I would never go with this. So those are three companies I would never go with. Now let's take a look at the ones that I do not recommend and I think there are way better options out there. So the first one is actually Hover and this really kind of breaks my heart because I kind of like them but they are just so not worth it at the moment. They are completely in a no man's land, their pricing is too high. Their whole thing was that they will be very transparent. They will not do like first year pricing and renewal pricing. Everything was supposed to be clear one price from the first day, but they just completely missed it. I, I think they were really good a few years ago, but nowadays it's it just not worth it to be honest. The feel of it is also outdated and for some reason their support time is limited by time, which is also in my books, especially nowadays complete now goes on, especially for such a relatively large company like Hover. Unfortunately, it breaks my heart, but I cannot recommend it to you. Next up, we have domains.com. And I know what you're thinking. Well, we just went over it now. Well, no, those were domain.com. And there's also domains.com. And well, when you look at it, I would not recommend them as well. They are very weird. They are very outdated look. The pricing isn't the worst, but there are definitely cheaper options in there. And for some reason, the domain privacy is extra and it looks very similar towards GoDaddy. I was thinking it's just some kind of rebrand of GoDaddy, but they're somehow owned by two completely different companies. So I'm not really sure what is going on there. And I honestly, I don't even want to know it. It's not intuitive. It doesn't give you any value. And I just don't see who is this product actually for? And then we have something maybe surprising for a lot of people. We have a Dynadot in here. And inside here, I would still go and say that there are better options in there. But if you have to choose any from the ones that I do not recommend, Dynadot would be the best choice. But once again, there are still cheaper options. They are more intuitive. But I think Dynadot, they are actually improving year over year. So maybe if I make video like this in two years, they are going to be moved into a better tier. But for now, I just don't see the added value in them. And you can go with different options. They are more proven and they have way better reputation also as well. Now let's take a look at the three recommendations. Each one is for completely different use case. Namecheap would be the first one. Now I know what you're thinking. They're definitely not the cheapest, but I would say for the price that they're asking, they're the best overall value. My strategy with Namecheap is the domains that I really value, for example, my main domain name, I do and still store with them. They're definitely worth it. They're, I think, the second largest domain registrar in the world, and they have the best overall experience. It's easiest to connect, and they have one of the best supports as well. And if you want to go and switch it also towards testing web hosting or different stuff, they have you covered with everything on one place. That's why I would recommend this. If you have one very big domain that you really want to go and take care of, I would still go and put it into Namecheap. But nowadays, I wouldn't go with Namecheap to go and bulk purchase multiple domains to have it in saving. I don't think this is the platform for this. The name chip I would consider to be the best value for .com domain if you want to go and have it stored and you have just one domain. 
The second domain register I used to recommend a lot in the past, also in the last video, was Porkban. This somehow became industry standard and they became synonymous with a good pricing. But unfortunately, as years are going by, I think they're kind of starting to lose somehow this momentum. There are much better deals to be found elsewhere, and they're also becoming a little bit outdated in terms of the user interface, and they still didn't fix the problem I had with them in the last video. It's not a very intuitive experience, and it's not as easy to go and connect it with web hosting. So even though they're still relatively fine, I wouldn't recommend them to a complete beginners. And here is the time for the domain registrar that is the cheapest option for you to go and buy a .com domain. And it is Spaceship. I haven't even included Spaceship in my last video, but their growth has been impressive. They are kind of a new player on the block. And in terms of pricing, they are by far the best choice in here. They are actually the only one remaining. They are offering not only the first year discounted price, but also the renewal price under $10. And this is something that we haven't seen in this industry for many, many years. They are by far the cheapest and they have very straightforward interface. But on the back end, if you actually buy it, it might be a little bit more challenging to go and connect it to a web hosting provider. I have actually tested in this video and I have to say, it definitely is a way more confusing experience compared to something like Namecheap. But they're definitely the place if you want to go and buy multiple domains for a cheaper price. I think, unfortunately, Pogban has been pushed a little bit and Spaceship is the new king of cheap.com domains. And the good part about them is that they are actually backed by a name cheap. So they're not just like a new random company that can disappear overnight, but they are backed by the second largest domain provider in the world. And what I think is actually happening is that Namecheap knows that they are getting more expensive. So what they are trying to actually do is go and create a new platform to compete with the likes of Porkban, Dynadot, and other cheaper domain registrars. So that's why they are offering such a cheap domains for now. I think in years to come, two, three, four, five years, they will go and increase the pricing as did every single domain registrar ever. But for now, I think it's the best time to go and lock those lower prices. Because even today, we get to go and lock those prices under $10 for a longer time period. Usually, for a classical domain registrar, I would go and recommend anywhere between four to six years as the term that you want to go with because the inflation is really, really big for domains. But for the spaceship, I would go anywhere between six to eight and you can even go with 10 year term. You will never see anything cheaper than this. So that's why it is in my eyes still worth going and locking those prices. If you find this video helpful, please feel free to consider using my links in the description. I will not earn as much money as those big expensive companies are giving away, but even this small amount would really help this channel to keep being alive and me producing those real videos for real people looking for some recommendations. This is everything from me. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a nice day and goodbye.